Hey guys, so I'm here to do a video on a French toast bake. It's what it's called and it literally, this is all the ingredients you need except for um, powdered sugar and like syrup for like after it's done being cooked. So it is super simple and I'm just going to show you okay, how to make it. First things first is you are going to take a, a half a cup of melted butter, which is one stick and you're going to melt the butter in the microwave and then you're going to add the brown sugar and you're going to need one cup of brown sugar so I'm going to do that now so I'm just going to get a bowl and then put the butter in there to melt After that's melted, I'm going to add the one cup of brown sugar. So, got one cup here. Okay, so I have my one cup of brown sugar. Get this melted butter. It's pretty much melted for the most part. Um, okay, stir until mixed. I'm gonna get a mixing bowl. Just gonna use this medium sized one and I'm going to pour the butter in first. Then I have one cup of brown sugar. And I'm going to mix it. Okay. Next step says to... Okay, you're going to pour this butter and brown sugar mix into the bottom of a 9 by 13 pan. Hopefully I have a 9 by 13 pan. I think I let my mom use it. Great. All right. Okay, so I'm pretty sure this is a 9 by 13 pan. I don't know. It doesn't say on here. It's like a cheap one. I have no idea. I left my Pyrex at my mother's house because I cooked a dessert for them and I said they could keep it. Totally left it there, but this will do. So I'm going to pour this mix into the bottom of a 9 by 13 pan. I'm going to spread it out. What it looks like. So the next thing to do is beat eggs, milk, and vanilla, and it takes four eggs, one and a half cup of milk, and one teaspoon of vanilla. So yeah, that's what I'm going to do. I'm going to use a different bowl just because it's going to be going on top of the Texas toast, and I just don't know. I'm just going to use a separate bowl. I'm going to use this one right here, it's just a classic, whatever. So we need, I'm going to set this to the side. We need four eggs. Okay, so I have four eggs and next I need um, one and a half cup of milk. Right? Yeah. So I have a cup right here. Woo. So one. My husband puts them in the wrong place when he does the dishwasher. Okay. So, and a half. All right. Vanilla, one teaspoon of vanilla. I just use a small spoon because I consider that to be a teaspoon instead of having to wash my little things. Just like a little less. Woo! So after I have that beat, I'm going to lay the single layer of Texas toast in pan. Crap, I forgot to take all the crust off. Okay, 
So I fit about six in here. Um, they're still a little bit on the edge, but I don't really know what to do because you can't really fit um, it in there. So the next thing you're going to do is spoon half of the egg mixture on the bread layer. So I did about half of it. I still have this much more. I don't know if that's really half or what, but um, next is to add the second layer of Texas toast and then you're going to spoon the remaining of the egg mixture on top. So I'll do that. And this is what it looks like with the second layer and then the second layer of eggs. So now we're just going to cover it and then we're going to chill it in the fridge overnight. Okay, so it's the next day and this just came out of the fridge and it's just covered and cold and everything. So you just preheat your oven to 350 and then you put it in with this on it for, for 30 minutes. And then after the 30 minutes is up, Take it out and you cook it for 15 more minutes.